If you're like me and you mostly work on a Mac and you need to develop .NET applications using the full Visual Studio suite, then you have to run a virtualized Windows environment with Visual Studio running inside of that. Well, with the new M1 processor, this has been an issue. Parallels is the first one to actually come out with a beta version that supposedly works on the M1 and Parallels runs on the M1. I'm going to show that to you in a moment, but there is a problem with Windows and that's the insider's build for Windows. It's not very stable. So the problem that I've run into is I've installed Windows. I've ran it. It looks really good. It starts up very fast, just like all the other demos you've seen on YouTube out here. But when I try to do something actually real with it, like install Visual Studio Community Edition and try to run a project with it, it ran, but then the environment destabilized and I cannot get it to work until I completely blow away the virtual machine and start all over again. So let me show you what happens. I did set this up again. Hopefully this will demonstrate how quickly the machine starts up, which is really nice. And once everything is worked out, all the little kinks and bugs are worked out, this is gonna be a really nice, smooth experience. But for now, we're gonna get as far as we can with this demonstration. And maybe I'll be back later on when a new build is available. Hey, what are you doing, man? I'm recording a video of Parallels and Windows. Why are you here? Why are you doing a negative review? You never do things like that on this channel. You only show things that work. Okay, it's not a review. I'm just showing people how it works right now. I mean, it's December 2020 and things are still in beta. Parallels is in beta, Windows is in beta. I know, it's not a review really, but things are not quite smooth sailing. I'm just trying to show people that, all right? Okay, fine. I mean, hopefully in, I don't know, a few months when you're sitting in a cafe, sipping your latte. All right public cafe, hopefully, fingers crossed, then all these things will be smoothed out by Parallels and Microsoft and it'll just be smooth sailing. Yeah, I'm sure they'll fix it. But for now, people should know what they're in for if they're trying to use Parallels and Windows together on the new Apple M1 chip. That sounds fair. I'm sure they'll have it fixed and working soon, okay? It'll be working soon, sure. Now, can I get back to what I was doing? Okay, sorry to interrupt. Please don't interrupt me anymore. Proceed. All right, let's hop in. So over here, again, I've got the MacBook Pro 2019 16 inch with 64 gigs of RAM, Core i9 processor, Intel. And over here is just a little MacBook Air with 16 gigs of RAM and the new M1 chip. I do have Windows 10 image on the MacBook Air. Make sure you, if you are going to install a Windows 10 virtual machine using Parallels, you have to get the ARM 64 version of that. It has to be a special image. Right now, it's only available using the Insiders program for Windows, which is available for free. You can sign up for it and download it, and uh, you'll be able to get up and running with it. Same thing with Parallels. With Parallels, though, you do need an account. You do need to be a member of Parallels. You need to have purchased a valid license of Parallels to use and then you'll be able to use their beta version. So that's what I have here. Okay, so I have Parallels running on both of these machines and an image of Windows 10. So I'm gonna kick these off at the same exact moment. So you'll see how, <laughs> if it does come up, you'll see how quickly it does come up on the M1. Not promising anything though, so let's try this out. All right, it looks promising so far. Okay, so they did both come up. I hit that one a little bit later. So after this experiment, I'm gonna try to do that again. So I actually simultaneously hit them at the same time, but it looks like it's about the same amount of speed that it took to bring up the machine. Good. Now um, there is the Microsoft Edge icon right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it on both of these to see how quickly that comes up. And Herein lies the problem. MacBook Pro, virtual machine inside there, works perfectly fine, flawlessly. So we do have a little bit of an issue again with the destabilization of Windows 10 over here on the MacBook M1. As you can see, I am hitting icons here. They are showing like they are starting down here in the toolbar of the Mac of the host machine, but nothing is coming up in the actual virtual machine. If I do wait a little while, or resize the window, they eventually show up, but there is quite a bit of a delay and it's basically unusable. 
Now, I should say that when I first install this and run it for the first time, it actually does work. It works up to a point when you start making changes. It works up to a point when I've tried to freeze the machine. So I pause it. After pausing, it does not recover very well at all. One other thing I did try was to change the hardware specs on this. So right now it's defaulted to two processors and four gigabytes of RAM allocated to the virtual machine. I've tried upping that. And when I do try upping that, it completely destabilizes the machine. It does not work after that. Even though the machine was turned off, when it does come up, it's no longer stable. I've even restyled Visual Studio several times, and you know, that takes a little bit of time. So I really wanted to show you how Visual Studio compares on both of these machines, but unfortunately I won't get to do that because it is not stable. The one time I did get that working, I saw the following results. Visual Studio running a Blazor server project and a Blazor WASM project was faster on the MacBook Pro with the Intel Core i9 in a virtual machine than it is on the M1. Bear in mind, of course, we've got a lower powered machine here with beta software running the virtualized environment, beta windows, all those things considered, they were not that far apart in terms of the performance of build times for Visual Studio projects. I will have to do another video later on when a new version comes out to give you more information on that. And hopefully that'll be stable enough so we can do actual comparisons. If you are interested in sticking around, I am going to try to recreate the virtual machine here and see if it actually starts up and then we can do it again. But for now, I don't have any faith in it. So if you are curious, stick around with me and I'm just going to do this in real time. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. All right. So I did blow away the previous installation of Windows 10. I just dragged it into the trash can and restarted my machine. Here is parallels. When you start it up, it detects what virtual images are on the machine and right now is detecting the uh, insiders build you can see it right here it's called windows 10 insiders preview arm 64 vhdx that's the file format for virtual hard disks i guess virtual images but let's go ahead and click create on that one so this is going to go ahead and create it there it is you can see the little windows logo with arm 64 down at the bottom this process actually doesn't take that long which is Pretty amazing. Okay, so now it's configuring the virtual machine. What other YouTube videos can I watch while this is happening? Jerry Rig Everything. Love that channel. Got a new video on a new Vizio TV. Mark Robert has a new video. It's a really good channel. Alex Ziskin has a new video. You should go subscribe to that guy. He needs more subscribers. All right, what's going on here? Installing the latest version of Parallel Tools. Come on. That's what's taking the longest. I hear Docker is out for the M1 chip. Gonna have to test that next once this is done. Oh, come on. You're wasting so much of my film. Okay, Windows 10 is starting up, folks. Look at that. Yes, the infamous little loading spinner for Windows. And there it is. What's going on here? This is interesting. It's just restarted twice. Maybe the natural process of things. Whoa, your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. We've just collected some info. Folks, uh, I just don't think this is happening today. So I hope it's just me, but really, I don't know. This is a new machine, a new installation of Parallels and a brand new installation of the Windows image. So not sure what's going on there. Let's try restarting it. Why not? I'm gonna click that big old play button right there and let's see what happens. Okay, that Windows icon is really flipping out and going all over the place. I don't have a good feeling about this. Hey, what, 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 wait, why? Huh, it's doing something. I'm gonna check to see if I still have the Parallels installation package. And yes, I do. Maybe I'll try that next. It's just blowing away everything, including Parallels and starting from scratch. Sometimes that's the best way to go. Or maybe this will just work. This is probably the fourth or fifth time I'm doing this in a row. So my faith in this is used to be up about here. Now it's about here. Okay, Windows started. I'm not touching anything. Let's try to start the browser. Hey, look at that. I can actually see a hover animation when I put my mouse over that E. File Explorer works. Good. Internet Explorer or Edge does not seem to be working. 
Hmm. Okay. I do need that. Not sure why that's not working. Let's try that again. Maybe the system needs a little bit of time to warm up. Okay. Certain. I mean, the UI seems to be responsive. File Explorer is opening up. Internet Explorer Edge, sorry, is not opening. Uh, neither is the start menu. So some things are working, other things are not. I'm gonna try to restart the guest Windows 10 operating system and see what happens here. Are you sure you wanna restart? You know what, let's, let's do a shutdown, a full shutdown. Shut down. Whoa, that was kinda weird. Okay, I think it's shut down now. Let's pop open control center. I just wanna show you what settings I have here on hardware, two processors and four gigs of RAM. I could increase this, but I'm not going to because last time I tried that, the system just went nuts and did not work at all after that. So I'm gonna leave that alone at the default settings and I'm gonna press play here. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here just so that we have an attempt at one final showdown between these two to see who is faster. <laughs> Again, this is kind of where we started the video, isn't it? Right over here where I can press these two at the same time and I'm gonna try to do that now. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, so yeah, see? MacBook Pro kind of beat that one out. I'd have to give it to the MacBook Pro this time, but not by much. So again, I wanted to do a full test with Visual Studio here and the build. Right now, Internet Explorer or Edge is not even coming up for me. So I'm going to leave this to system instability and wait for the next build of Windows to come out and maybe a next build of Parallels as well. And I'll report back to you when that's all done. Thanks for watching and sticking it out with me. I'll see you in the next video.